Yo, what's going on guys? It is JD here, back with another episode of The Road to Glory, episode number 5. And where we've got to in 5 episodes is genuinely mind-blowing. So since the last episode, we've also had, we've also, we've obviously had this new Series 3 Prime set for the Kawhi Leonard, and uh, loads of cheap Opals in that, which uh, as you can probably by, tell by the title, we've picked up our first Opal of the year on this account, which is 5 episodes old, which is not have much time into it at all, and we've already bought an Opal. Ridiculous. Now, as I'm recording this, they have just announced the uh, Goat Larry Bird. The challenges aren't out yet, but uh, yeah, as I'm recording this, that is what time it is, so I don't know how long those challenges are going to take. If there are only 5 challenges, or 5 games per challenge, which I highly doubt, but if they are, then we'll definitely do a couple of those, but I highly doubt that. They will probably be, might be 7, because obviously it's a final series, um, or it might be like 10 or 15, you never know with 2k. Um, but yeah, so we've made a lot of changes to the squad since last episode, because on Twitch, over on Twitch, twitch.tv slash JD underscore crossover, we've been using this account to play against subscribers every night these last couple of days, which has been a lot of fun, and it's been a good, good chance to try out these players against teams that are very, 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 very good. Because chances are, if when we, I was going to say if, but when we jump into Unlimited, we're going to be coming up against a very, very good squad. So it's a good test, and uh, I've learned quite a lot about the players. We've made a lot of new changes, so we're going to get into those today. As for the agenda, nothing new. Weekly, nothing. And then uh, monthly, nothing's changed at all. So before we jump into it, guys, of course, a massive shout-out to the MVPs and the GOATs of the channel. For the MVPs, we have got Heisenberg, Panda, Amru, and then we have Todd, Lou, Harry, Will, Harco, Patrick, Cole, Joaquim, and Safe. Yes, I need to look at my list because my memory is very bad. Uh, and then the five goats, of course, we've got Eric, Jason, Cody, Ice Cream, and Z as well. If you guys want to get involved also and help support the channel, there's a join button down below. If not, top line of the description will show you how it is done. All right, on this account, we actually don't have any new packs to open up, no login rewards or anything like that. Haven't played any more online, so all we've played on this account to this day, still, is just the five games of Triple Threat Offline. We did two Spotlight Challenges. We did one for Cam Reddish. We did one for the Diamond Roko, right there. And we've also done the 81 Kobe Bryant Challenges, 81 Token ones. So, so far, about seven hours. And then, of course, with the Triple Threat Online as well, we did one one run through, one board went nine and one, which is pretty good. Again, probably like an hour and a half tops, not that, probably. So, probably like nine hours of gameplay on this account so far. And, um, yeah, this is where we're at which is ridiculous. Now, the auction outcomes at the moment are empty, but I did cash in a lot from last episode. So we cashed in both of our diamond contracts. We sold them both for 16,000 MT. We sold off our pink diamond Jared Dudley, which we bought for 7K, for 9K, so a little bit of profit on him. And we also sold off that, sold off that Nerlin's Noel diamond. We bought him for about 3.5K, sold him off for 6K. No idea why he's expensive, but he is. He's up at 6K, so went ahead and uh, sold him off. And you can see right there, that we made some additions to the squad, starting with our first Opal of the year, which is Opal Gary Payton. Now, six foot four, he came out with his Kawhi set. He's got 48 Hall of Fame badges. He's got a 97 driving layup with an 88 driving dunk after the shoe, 95 mid, 96 three, insane passing, insane defense, good rebounding, incredible speed. And then also, if you come down to tendencies, he has got a 90. Eight on ball steal tendency 98 and pass inception tendency as well 96 that's got to be a good thing so Gary Payton was the first opal that we have picked up on this account now how much did he cost me well sadly we overpaid because uh, we got him yesterday on stream and I thought he was a really good price and he was but his price has just tumbled down and I can't believe how cheap this guy is now 50,000 MT for this card Mind blowing. So we actually paid. What do we pay? Sixty-two thousand MT. We paid for him, and then I paid four thousand MT for that diamond shoe as well. So in total, sixty-six thousand MT for that Galaxy Opal Gary Payton. Not bad. Is it a good idea that I bought him right now? Probably not. We probably should have saved on, saved a little bit, but um, oh well, not to worry. So Yakum, obviously in that set as well, has gone up a little bit in price, nearly up to two hundred K. And B's gone back up to like three hundred K. George Gervin is another card who is so cheap. Look at that. Not even selling for 40k. Opals are so cheap this year. It is ridiculous. So, who else did we buy? Well, let's try and go through these one by one in terms of the collections down here. So, we picked up a Diamond Gerald Wallace. 20 Hall of Fame badges. Really, really solid card. Like, great driving. Good shooting. Not the best mid-range, but good shooting. Good passing. Incredible defense. Little bit of rebounding and great speed as well. Managed to cop him for 5,000 MT. 
which I think is a fantastic, fantastic price. Um, anybody else new? Isaac Bonga we already had. Do we already have Isaac Bonga? I feel like we did. Did I write down his price? No, I didn't. So we must have bought him on video. Oh, we did. I remember. Uh, but yeah, down here, Dino Raja. Dino Raja. Diamond shoe, diamond contract, which I think is a very, very strong combination, of course. We managed to pick him up for 36,000 MT. 36,000 MT with a diamond shoe and a diamond contract, and it's a really good diamond shoe as well. So right now, he's probably like 30k. Yep, because everything's crashing hard right now. 27k. But we weren't to know. We weren't to know that these uh, Spotlight Sims were going to come out. 25k right there. Oh, you hate to see it. You hate to see it. Um, but yeah, we paid 36,000 MT for ours. And the diamond shoe that we've got on him is a driving dunk, ball control, and speed with ball. So a really nice offensive base shoe right there. So happy with that. And uh, very happy with Dino Raja as well. At that center position, I think it's going to be really, really nice. Uh, next up, in terms of the purchases, we go to the fan favorite set, and we got ourselves a pink diamond Gerald Green. Now, how much did Gerald Green cost us? 16.2 thousand MT. And again, that was the cheapest yesterday, but right now, because of these new packs or new Spotlight Sims coming out, chances are everything is going to be even cheaper than it was yesterday. And yesterday, I thought things were cheap, but I can imagine they've got even a little bit cheaper right now. So, like I said, 16k we paid for him, and yeah, it's about 15k right now, which is so, so cheap. So yeah, Gerald Green has come in. Takeover set, Darius Miles, Pink Diamond. How much was he? 16,500 MT for a 98 rated Pink Diamond with 35 Hall of Fame badges, 95 driving layup, 98 driving dunk, 89 three-pointer, 92 mid, great passing, great defense, good rebounding, and incredible speed, and all athleticism is really incredible. So Darius Miles, 16K, bruh, fantastic. Um, over here, another really really strong 98 rated pink diamond larry johnson and for him it was 16,000 mt again on the nose so not bad at all 36 hall of fame badges insane stats once again absolutely insane and i've really really enjoyed him in the games i've played i really really enjoyed him um and then the throwback moments cards we obviously pulled, or pulled we didn't pull we bought the jeff teague for 12.7 thousand mt i can't remember if i mentioned that or not so right now this is what the squad looks like this is what the squad looks like, and we've played, we've done nothing since last episode. We haven't played any more games. I've played against subscribers, but obviously you don't get anything for doing so. So Gary Payton at the one, Cameron Lish at the two, Larry Johnson at the three, Darius Miles at the four, Dino Raja, and then off the bench, Isaac Bonga, Gerald Green, Roko, Joe Smith, Joe G, and then we've got Dwayne Wade, Gerald Wallace, and Miles Turner down there. And uh, Joe Cool, well, Jeff Teague, not even in the team. Nick Patum not in, George Hill, Dean Wade. Marvin Bagley, Lance Stevenson, Nick Young. So I think we're going to have to go ahead and uh, sell all those guys off because obviously there's no point in having MT in those cards when we don't need them. But the team is looking really, really strong right now. Am I really in love with Gary Payton? I'm not too sure. Uh, probably not. Six foot four and he just, he looks so small out on the floor. Like obviously you're going to be coming up against the majority of people running with oversized point guards. So we're going to need someone also the same to counter that. And Isaac Bong is about the only guy we've got right now. Look at George Gervin. 40,000 MT for a Galaxy Opal with 45 Hall of Fame badges. Bro, that is incredible. That is absolutely incredible. Can we, uh, can we scrape together enough MT to get him? We're on 12,000 MT right now. If we sold a couple of players that we're not using, maybe we'll get enough for him. So Joe Caldwell, how much should we buy Joe Caldwell for? 10.5k we paid for Joe Caldwell. So we paid 10k for him. Wow, that was cheap. When did I get him that cheap for? I don't know, but it looks like we can just lose a little bit of MT. And that's not bad. You know, I'm not mad at that. So looking like about 9.5k. It's one for 9.5. So maybe like 9.4 and he should sell relatively quickly. Um, where was Joe Caldwell at? Right, he's down here. So we'll get him gone because realistically I'm not using him and... If we want to use him, we can just use Dwayne Wade instead. So we'll get rid of him. Like I said, we barely lost any MT on him, so I'm not mad at that at all. Put him like that. Hopefully he sells right now. Miles Turner as well. I just really didn't enjoy Miles Turner. I just really did not enjoy him. He felt really sluggish out there. I'm much, I'm much happier with uh, Dino Raja right now. Much happier. So Dino obviously costs a bit more, but that is obviously he is quite a bit of a better card. How much can we get for Miles Turner? Could I write down how much we paid for him? No, I didn't. I did not. 14k? Jesus, he's cheap. Alright, we'll go for like a 14.2, I guess. Hopefully he'll sell for that. 14.2, let's get rid of him. And then I think if we sell one more pink diamond, then we might have enough 
for George Gervin to come through at 40k. That is so cheap. It is unbelievable. So we'll get him sold. And then who are the other cards uh, that we have? Jeff Teague. Yeah, Jeff Teague can go now. Now we've got that... Um, now we've got Gallic Opal... What's his face? Gary Payson in there. We don't really have any for Jeff Teague. And we bought Jeff Teague for 12.7k, like I said. And he's about the same right now. So 10.5. He should sell for that. Um, but again, it's just that under... He's not even undersized as a point guard. He's a normal size for a point guard. But... This year, 2K20, you just can't run with those type of cards. You just can't run with those type of cards. It's so annoying, but sadly, that is the meta this year. So what have we got there? 20K, 35K, 35 plus a 10? Yeah, that'll be fine. So if those three guys sell, then we'll be able to pick up George Gervin, which would be very, very nice. Um, and then other cards that we need to sell are, obviously, these are guys that are all uh, locker codes. Nick Batum, George Hill, Marvin Bagley, Lance Stevenson, Nick Young. We might as well sell them because we're not using them and we don't exactly need a B team out here, do we? All we need is as much MT as we can get in our main squad. So Nick Batum, if he is like 6k, I'll take that. I've no idea what we paid for him, but yeah, no, he's, he's not that, is he? He's not that at all. Four and a half? Yes, hopefully, maybe a little bit more. 4.7? Okay, so he looks like he's about 5k, but looks like there's a lot up for 5k. Uh, so we'll go like 4.7 on him. That's not bad. I'm not mad at that. Uh, where is he? He's fan favourites. No, he's not. He is... Where is Nick Batum? Where you at, bro? There we go. I found him. He was in Flash 6. He was hiding. So we'll go 4.7, 4.8, something like that. Uh, and we'll get him gone. 4.75, why not? Uh, next up, let's have a look at Lance Stevenson. See what he's selling for. Always had a little bit of value beforehand. But right now, probably like 2k, something like that. But you know what? It's 2k we, we don't have if he is sitting in our club not doing anything. 1.8, 1.7, bro, <laughs> bro, that is so cheap, 1.5, 1.4, okay, no, I'm not, I'm not selling for that, there's literally no point, uh, what about Dean Wade, any value in Dean Wade, yeah, again, it's, it's not looking like a yes, is it, it's not looking like a yes, was there anybody else that we could sell, George Hill's not gonna have any value, Marvin Bagley might, Marvin Bagley might, I think he was at like 10k at one point, what is that right now? Yeah, that, that 10k is fast gone out the window. Now he's like, again, like 2,000 MT. Three and a half, maybe? If he's three and a half, I'll probably sell him because we don't really need him in the squad. And yeah, I haven't seen one for under three and a half. 3.4. Okay, we'll get rid of him for 3.2. I don't mind that. 3.2 is a decent little amount of MT to get back into the club for a card that realistically we're not going to be using. We're not going to be using it. I just didn't expect to upgrade the team this quickly. The team has just got so good so fast and we haven't even played the game realistically which is the craziest thing so this is what we're rocking with right now do we have another center right here i mean yeah but do i want to use them no we'll just put in dean way for the time being uh so yeah gary payne cameron British, larry johnson darius martin Raja. it is such a strong team there's a couple of other pink diamonds that i were what well, i were that i was looking at buying um one of them was andrew wiggins who comes in at about similar price like sort of 15k which really isn't that bad. Also, the new-ish Dale Ellis coming into that shooting guard position because he's so cheap. So cheap. Um, also, who else is there? There's a Dale Ellis, Andrew Wiggins, Michael Red. He was another one as well. So there's so many of these Pink Diamonds guys that are so cheap, literally like fifteen to 20,000 MT, and they are so, so powerful, which is how I've managed to get... Oh, there we go. Joe Caldwell's off 9K. Thank you very much which is how I've managed to get this squad so quickly into this series. Now, it's not the best squad in the world, obviously. The bench needs a bit of work. Joe Chi's obviously not incredible. But Isaac Bonga's fantastic. And to be fair, I might even prefer Isaac Bonga to Gary Payton. If he wasn't so cheap right now, because there's no way I'm selling him for this price. No way. Buying him for 62, I didn't think he'd go much lower. But seeing him at 50 right now is just a madness. And then as for George Gervin, 35k... 40k on bid, not selling for 42. Oh my, that is unbelievable. So George Gervin, because of course, comes straight in here at the uh, starting shoot guard position. Then we can have two opals and three pink diamonds in our starting lineup on episode five. What even is that? And then Cam Reddish, we could probably keep and get rid of Gerald Green to get a bit more empty into the club. Because we might as well use Cam Reddish and Rocco where we can, so we don't have to spend empty at their positions. I think that's a good way to go about it. So yeah. Really, really exciting stuff. Hopefully these two guys sell 
in the next few minutes and then we can go ahead and pick up one of those Gervins. Because I don't want to wait too long. I feel like his price will come back up. And then as for these Spotlight Sims, who I don't know. Um, I think five of them are Opals and five are Pink Diamonds, 98 rated. Um, but, I mean, we could definitely do one or two, depending on how long the challenges are. If there are only five games, 100% we'll do a couple of them. It's like Paul Pierce is a Galaxy Opal, Mark Gasol is an Opal, Dennis Rodman's an Opal, um, Michael Cooper as well, I think, maybe. I don't know. Um, but yeah, if they're like 10 games per challenge, we probably won't do any on this account. Uh, but of course, on the main account, we'll, we'll get through the ball because we're going to want that goat bird. He has, of course, gone into this collection right here, but there's still no reward for it. And notably, he is searchable. Searchable? Searchable? That's not a word. Searchable on the auction house. I'll try to combine those. He is searchable on the auction house, so that's a bit weird. Um, I don't know what that means, but maybe he'll be up on the auction house at some point as well, which would be very strange, not going to lie. Alright guys, so I don't think these guys are going to sell in this episode. They've been up for nearly 10 minutes now and neither of them are budging, which is a bit of a shame. But I'm already getting pretty confident in this team that we might be able to take it into Unlimited and make a little bit of a run at a 12 and 0. Which would be crazy on this account that is brand new at the start of the month. So if we do that, I would be so, so impressed with myself. Realistically, right now, I'd probably start Bonga over Gary Payton just because of that height advantage. 6 at 8, Isaac Bonga, 6 at 4, Gary Payton. It's just, it just doesn't cut it at that point guard position, sadly. This year, with the meta the way it is, 6 for 4 just does not cut it. So I did try him out. He was quite nice in the games. We might give him a bit more time, but realistically, if, he, if, his, hmm, if his price comes up a little bit, as I can eventually talk, probably we'll just go ahead and sell him back. Um... Because, yeah, stats-wise, obviously incredible, absolutely insane. But height is this year's meta, and he just doesn't have that. And no stats and badges can make up for a lack of height, sadly. Uh, not being heightist or anything, but let's blame 2k for that. So, yeah, Eisenbong is probably going to come in at a starting point guard position. Other than that, we've got uh, Wes Unseld, who could maybe come in at some point. But he is very, very expensive, sort of like 60, 70k, which we obviously we can't afford just yet. Even if we sold George Gervin, we wouldn't be able to afford that. Even uh, Not George Gervin. We haven't even bought him yet. I mean, if you sold Gary Payne, we wouldn't be able to afford him just yet. Other than that, there's not really that many really good, sizable point guards out there. We could do the spotlight sim from Malcolm Brogdon. But I don't think that's really a good idea at this point in the game. And then other than that, the pink diamonds we've bought, very happy with. Darius Miles, LJ, Dino Raja, Gerald Green, all really, really strong. Um, and yeah, by next episode, we should hopefully have another Galaxy Opal, depending, of course, on what content they bring out. They might even bring out more stuff. Um, we did have new... Throwbacks as well, like I said, that's where that Jeff Teague came from. But none of those Opals were anything special, realistically. Larry Keener's not bad, but for 60k, I don't know about that, Chief. Eddie Jones is fantastic, but still at 100k. And then uh, Gordon Hayward came out, and he is, yeah, just, just 100k as well, basically. So, again, can't quite afford him, which is a bit of a shame. So, that's going to do it for this episode, guys. All right, guys, so it's just been a few minutes, but I am just going to come back into this video because, as you can see, everything has sold lovely stuff. Plenty of MT now coming into the club. That's going to put us at 45,000, 50,000 MT. Let's go. Which is, of course, plenty of MT to go ahead and buy another Galaxy Opal. Why is he up at 45k then? Why is that a thing? What? How has his price changed that much in like 10 minutes? It can't have done. I People are dumb, you know. Why, why would you do that? So he's bid 45k. We can get him on buy now for 40 2k be wild sometimes so he literally is capped at 40,000 MT there's not a single one for 50 MT cheaper um, and I don't feel like we're going to be able to get one on auction for cheaper by the looks of it. it looks like they've all been bidded up so we might have to just buy the bullet at 40k which to be fair I still think is a really really good price can he get much cheaper than 40,000 MT I don't think so I don't think so and like it's not exactly like he's been um, not hyped up like everyone's saying this card is really really solid Okay, you know what? I'm going to try and snipe one. So uh, I'll give it a couple of minutes. If we can see one, great. If not, we'll just go ahead and buy one for uh, 40,000 MT. Because like I said, I'm still pretty happy with that as a price. And then there's going to be two Opals added in this episode, which is very exciting. All right, guys. 38,000 MT. I'll take it. There was one there for 39,950. Oh, but obviously I wasn't going to pay that. But 38,000 MT. George Gervin Welcome to the squad. And yeah, that does mean that uh, Gerald Green can come out. George Gervin can go to that starting lineup. And there we go. 38,000 MT for George Gervin. 62,000 MT for Gary Payton. So 100,000 MT. And we've added in two Galaxy Opals. And really good ones at that. 
45 Hall of Fame badges, 65 badges in total. That is absolutely fantastic. So very, very happy with that. Two Opals now, uh, and now back to me for the outro. I do hope you have enjoyed, and uh, look at how this squad is taking shape. It's looking very, very good. If there are any other really OP pink diamonds that are missing, if you can really improve this team without costing me too much, then do let me know down below. But that's going to do it, guys. Hope you have enjoyed. As usual, please like, subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Peace.